Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at the greenhouse effect. So we first need to understand that the greenhouse effect is a natural process of our atmosphere. Without it, the average surface temperature of the Earth would be roughly minus 17 degrees Celsius, rather than what we currently experience now, which is 15 degrees Celsius. At these sort of temperatures, life would not have been able to evolve and be what it is today in its present form. Unfortunately, our planet would be too cold without the greenhouse effect. So the atmosphere is incredibly important when it comes to explaining the greenhouse effect. The Earth's atmosphere acts almost like an insulating blanket. Imagine when you go to bed, not going to bed with a duvet or quilt on top of you. You would be extremely cold some nights, but when you put that blanket or quilt on top of you, it insulates you and keeps you warm and traps that heat. The atmosphere does the same thing for our planet. The atmosphere allows short wave energy in the form of light and also long wave energy in the form of heat from the sun to pass through it quite easily. Solar energy, known as short wave energy, enters our atmosphere at the first stage of the greenhouse effect. As this short wave energy passes through the atmosphere, it might actually come into contact with dust particles or water droplets and unfortunately be scattered or reflected back into space. This then means that only a little of this short wave solar energy radiation is absorbed in the atmosphere which can then travel to the Earth's surface and warm our planet. As the solar energy heats the Earth's surface, the Earth's surface then radiates this long wave energy in the form of heat back into the atmosphere. Some of that long wave energy in the form of heat escapes back into space through our atmosphere. However, some of this long wave energy is quite easily absorbed by naturally occurring greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, such as methane, water vapour and carbon dioxide from when we breathe in oxygen and breathe out CO2. The presence of these greenhouse gases in our atmosphere allows for that long wave energy to be reflected back towards the Earth's surface, warming our planet. So it's incredibly important to understand that these naturally occurring greenhouse gases being present in our atmosphere are responsible for allowing our average surface temperature to be above minus 17 degrees Celsius and therefore allow life to be present on our planet. I hope you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.